30,000 subscribers for more Grow Castle videos. For today's video, I will review a viewer's account. I'll advise and share some DOS and don'ts during the early game. During the early game, I recommend joining a high-level guild instead of making your own. Aside from making a guild is so expensive, a high-level guild gives you a better buff. One of the usual mistakes of new players is that they are putting too many damagers in one deck. Like this one, he is using triple mage, triple archer, and triple witches. Don't get me wrong, having too many damagers in your build can clear waves too. In fact, this deck can clear DH3. But as your waves go higher, upgrading these heroes requires too much gold. Aside from that, during early games, you don't have enough talent points to improve the performance of these heroes. I recommend that you stick to one element during the early game. Physical, summon, or lightning elements are highly recommended during the early game. Having one element or minimal number of damager in your deck can save hero slot, which allows you to activate more utility and crowd control units. One of the best ways to spend your crystals during the early games, is to set up monster's weakness. For now, this build is using town archers as main damagers, so recommended weak point of mobs is critical damage. I made a gold build for him. During the early games, it is very important to not rush your waves. But staying too much on low waves has negative effects too, because a higher wave gives you higher gold. Treasures used for this gold farming deck are Cursed Knife, Gold Bar, Bronze Piece, Golden Heart, and Power Glove. This account can transition from Town Archer build to Physical Summon build. This node can increase the duration of Hunter's Haste. Haste is a skill that can increase the attack speed of Town Archers, while this node can increase the damage of Dark Bowmaster's strength by 100%. Units such as Altar of Green, ORC Band, Military Band M, Alchemist, Gold Castle, Trophy, and Golden Tree are units that can increase the gold you gain from mobs. Giant Ogre and Dark Ice Wizard are units that can prevent the mobs from getting near the castle. Dark Hunter and Dark Skeleton are units that improves Town Archer's damage, critical chance, critical damage, and attack speed while Dark Assassin and Dark Necromancer are support units that can improve critical damage and reduces monsters' defense. I'm also using a support leader, which is Zero. Zero allows your damager to deal more damage on slowed mobs. It is proven that town archers are good during early games, but not efficient enough during late games. So I recommend that he gradually transition to any hero build that he likes. Recommended builds during the late game are Physical Summon, Fire Summon, Lightning Build. Check my playlist for more content about this game. Hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you are always updated on my latest uploads. Thanks for watching, 30,000 subscribers for more Grow Castle videos.